action. Are we proceeding with sentencing? Yes, Your Honor. Anything you wish to say on behalf of your client? Your Honor, I've spoken to the state about addressing the, the fine and community service. Uh, my client has a special needs client, or a special needs uh, child who's seven years old, autism, uh, nonverbal. And that takes up a significant amount of her time. She also has a three-year-old who's in the Head Start program. Um, and she owns a small business uh, where she does baking. Um, we would like any help we can have on, on the fine and community service, Your Honor, considering uh, the demands of her time with her child. All right. Why were you driving 80 miles per hour? I wasn't driving. Oh, no. No. <laughs> oh, somebody, I mean, if somebody else is driving, because they're saying you were evading in a vehicle. So if you want a jury trial, we'll give you a jury trial. State. She says she wasn't driving. Part of evading arrest detention in a vehicle is you're the driver. According to the police report, it states that she was driving. Yes, Judge. We also have a uh, dash cam video of it. Of her getting yes. out of the driver's seat. All right. They say there's a dash cam video of you getting out of the driver's seat. I was just a bit angry that night. Then why are you pretending as though you were not driving? I'm nervous. No, nervousness doesn't make you be dishonest. You told me that you were not driving. And now the state says they have a dash cam video of you actually getting out of the driver's seat. Mm -hmm. So why were you driving 80 miles per hour? I was just on edge that night. And I was trying to get home. Why? Me and my boyfriend at the time were fighting. And, and is this Eduardo Ramirez? Yes. All right. So what time of the night was this? Um, I don't really remember, to be honest with you. I really don't remember. Was it dark outside? It was. It was dark. All right. Were your children in the vehicle with you? No, ma'am. So who was taking care of your children? My parents. All right. So now we know the, the real people who are taking care of the children are her parents. She's just still living her best life with her new boyfriend. That's not true. Okay. So you're evading 80 miles per hour in a vehicle. Your attorney says you have a special needs child because plus you have a young child and you're out for a joyride with Eduardo Ramirez and you, and you're speeding going 80 miles per hour in a 40 mile per hour zone. So I think counsel, she has time to do the community service because I think her parents are doing more than what's being presented to me. So do your parents babysit? Sometimes, yes. While you're running your bakery, where are you running your bakery from? At home. All right. That's your house, not their house? It's their house. All right. So her parents are doing the heavy lifting. All right. It's going to be a $1,500 fine. That's going to be probated. Four years deferred adjudication. 180 hours of community service restitution. I'm going to order parenting classes. Once she completes parenting classes, community service hours will be deemed satisfied. So do you have all of your um, DBAs in order or you're just baking from your home and when people want a cake or? No, it's registered with the county. All right. Mm -hmm. There's going to be regular reporting by Zoom or in person, regular random UAs, proof of employment within 30 days. There's to be no employment as a home health care provider or with minors. If you're drug tested today, what will the results be? There's going to be field visits one time per month for six months, a defensive driving course, and there's to be no contact with Eduardo Ramirez. You know, the only issue with that is that as of now is her husband. I believe they're going through a divorce, but there might be the need for contact to, to resolve that divorce. All right, no contact with Eduardo Ramirez. Uh, the only exception is for court. Okay. That works. Is Thank there you. anything else? Nothing further, Your Honor. Probation, is there anything else she needs? No, no, no. All right, did you review the document entitled Trial Court Certification of Defendant's Rights to Appeal with your attorney? Did you understand it and sign it? Yes, I did. Because this is a plea bargain agreement, because I followed your plea bargain agreement, because you waive your right to appeal, you do not have the court's permission to appeal. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. All right, we can go off the record. Your children have to come first.
going eight. Well, not always, because you would not have been going 80 miles per hour, whether you're upset with your boyfriend slash husband or not, because anybody could have been killed. And police don't like when you're going 80 miles per hour, they tell you to pull over and you don't. Mm -hmm. You could have just been another person on the news that's dead with your parents doing a GoFundMe for your children. You have to put your children first. Do you understand? Yes, All right. Good luck to you. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh,